Florida State University expects to reopen its campus this fall. But as Jake Stofan shows us, most classes will remain online and plans being presented to the Board of Trustees could still change. FSU students were first told they wouldn't be returning to the classroom after leaving for spring break. Who could have imagined in January that we would have ended the semester this way? Now the university has released its draft plan for students to return in the fall. Testing of students and staff will be a priority. We are hoping that most of our students will in fact be tested. The university also plans to conduct COVID-19 testing throughout the semester. If a case is found, they'll be quarantined in this building and a team will work to trace any and all contacts. And make sure that they get tested and that we, you know, keep everybody as safe as possible. Some parents have complained that sporting events like football will be permitted to resume, while many classes will still be conducted online. The university says classes like arts and lab courses will take priority for in-person instruction, but other courses may be offered face-to-face -face as well. Really important uh, classes for people before they enter their majors, for example, or that uh, are uh, really critical uh, classes for them. The United Faculty of Florida says the plan appears to align with their own recommendations, highlighting the need for flexibility. If we get to the point where the pandemic is uh, has resurged so much in Florida, that we may have to go to an entirely different plan. The last two weeks of the semester following Thanksgiving break will be conducted virtually. Prior to that, any significant outbreak could trigger a return to distance learning. Reporting from the state capitol, Jake Stofan, Channel 4, The Local Station. The university will finalize its reopening plan Thursday. Right now, the semester is set to begin August 24th. Also, just hours ago, the University of North Florida announced it will celebrate summer class of 2020 with a virtual graduation on July 31st. Officials say those graduates will be invited back to campus for a live ceremony in the future, but they did not give a date on that.